<sighs> Missed putting this on. Game day! Woo! What, what's happening, everybody? It's, uh, it's, it's your guy. It's your guy, Ian. Um, game one, week one, finally made it. Didn't think we would make it for a little bit. Here we are, Piedmont versus El Reno. Thank God we made it. Just a couple hours away, so I'm gonna go get lunch with uh, my boy, with uh, with Hunter, and uh, we're gonna drive down there. So let's get it. All right. Also, we went to Cordoba. How how was the food? Dude, Cordoba was bomb. Love Cordoba. Nice. All right, so. Piedmont Reno, what is your, this is a new segment. Okay. Hunter's Picks, what's your score prediction tonight for Piedmont versus El Reno? All right, I think Piedmont's gonna win. I think they're gonna win 21 to 13. That's my prediction. Fantastic. I hope yeah. I hope you lead us to 10 and 0 this year, man. Yes, I'd be lit. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we are going to head back out onto the road. And you know what that means. Cue the driving montage. Game time. Piedmont, El Reno. We're about uh, two hours away from kickoff. Uh, just heading to the stadium now. Man, I've, I've missed this. I've missed this so much. And I and it, we have a good game in store. So let me give you, let me give you a little bit of history. Uh, last year, Piedmont it, and El Reno is usually the first game of the year uh, for Piedmont. This year was different. El Reno uh, played cash and won uh, 42 to 35. So this is their second game, and uh, there's a little bit of uh, there's a little bit of heat on this game uh, more than usual because it is a uh, El Reno is the next city over, so it is a rivalry game. Uh, last year. Uh, Piedmont lost 13 to 7 and then they met in the playoffs where Piedmont won 24 to 21. So I'm expecting El Reno to come out there angry and peeved from last year because they want that revenge and they probably had this game circled on the calendar for quite a while. So I'm I'm expecting a fight. I'm expecting a dog fight. And I'm also expecting an an early game of the year for Oklahoma High School football. I have high expectations for this game. And I think we're gonna call a good one tonight. Luke, uh Luke's gonna get to the stadium a little later. But he I, I gotta tell you, working with him last week with the scrimmage, you guys saw that in the last vlog. He is so professional. He is going to he's going to do a really good job. I think we're going to make a really good team this year, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, with that being said, let's uh, let's get into the stadium. Chilling up here at the moment because the uh, the press box is uh, 
Like it's getting the air kicked back up. So man, what a field. I'll just show you real quick. This is, this is football. Oh man, I'm so excited to be back. I'm so excited to call this game. It's going to be a great game. So let's get after it. Probably walk down. Probably get on the field level, maybe talk to some players. We'll see. We'll see. Never know. We got plenty of time. So here they come in the all yellow uniforms. So they're getting prepared for their warm up. They look war ready, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Alright, 30 minutes to kick off. It's almost game time. It is hot. Dang gum it, it is hot. Let's get started. Seven. We're ready to rumble. Four wide receiver set to the either side. Devro in the backfield. A little bit of a high snap. Romanos pulls it down and is taken down in the backfield. Lots of one as Joey Mars coming up from his middle linebacker position takes down Romanos for a loss of one. Could not find a man. In, oh, to pass to, to run to. He did. He had nowhere to go on that play. Second and eleven. Arena yeah, quickly no, no, behind no, the chains every, here. Every little bit Two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. It's not an illegal. Romanos running off left tackle. He's got some space. He's tripped up, but stumbles across the 30 yard line to the 31. It was Mars again with the tackle. Joey Mars again tripped him up. Good, good tackle of the feet. Tripped him up, prevented him to get for getting any yards. Third down and five. This is their first, I think this is their first uh Positive yardage. Positive yardage of the game. So third down and four from the 31 yard line. Two wide receivers right, one to the left. One minute to go here in the first quarter. Romanos rolling right. He snowed under in the backfield. Nice pass out to Cole Mitchell. He spotted right at the 35 yard line. It will be enough for the first down. A great tackle there by Jacob Anglin. Yeah. A nice throw by Romanos as he was getting plastered in the backfield. Yeah, he was about to get lit up and he threw it just in time. Good tackle by Jacob Anglin. Close but no cigar. It'll be another first down for the Indians as they as the clock keeps tick, ticking away. 40 seconds on the clock. Romanos. Decada Warrior. Back deep to receive it. High punt. Very short, though. Lands at the 40 yard line of Piedmont and backtracks, and Devro finally falls on it at the 48 yard line. Not a great look for the brand. As Pat McAfee would say, high punt. Just got caught up in the wind and did not go very far for El Reno. That's great if you're Piedmont, because you only have 52 yards to go as the ball is being spotted at the 48 yard line on the other side of the field. So, fantastic so stuff. Officially a five yard punt. Yikes. For Aquindo. Romanos with the snap, rolling left, avoids Mars, throws it to the sideline. There's Mitchell, catches it, he goes out of bounds at the 38 yard line. Clock stops with 10 and a half seconds to go. Wow, I I thought he was aiming for the wrong guy. And the official on the near side was waving his arms, but El Reno took a timeout on the far side. Not sure if they needed to. Couldn't tell from our ten and a half seconds to go. El Reno with one timeout remaining. Might just see Hail Mary of sorts to certainly look for Colton Hunt. Stands 6'4", 225 down here on the near side of the formation. Three wide receivers to the right. Devro in the backfield. Romanos. Under pressure. He's going to go deep. Hunt is down the sideline and it's going to be intercepted. intercepted by the Cato Warrior. Oh, Warrior. Oh, Warrior. And Hunt is absolutely the guy they went for. And it turned out poorly for El Reno. Their third turnover of the first half, first interception of the season for the Cato Warrior. And you called it. They were going for Hunt. And Decada Warrior was right there coming off the back end. Read the play perfectly from that free safety position, that bandit position that Piedmont calls it. 
So Piedmont taking over at their own three yard line with three and a half on Crutzen Meridian Sports. TV. Receiver either side, third and nine for the Wildcats from the 11 yard line. Mars, back to pass, fade to the corner to Hendren. He got it! Out of no! Bounds. He had one foot in bounds, did Excellent. not have the other one in bounds. Excellent call by the official as the one out of bounds came down first. Hendren cramping up within that left calf, it looks like. So close. Very, very close. If he hates Scott. Six foot three, 255 pounds of pure beast. Keep my Wildcats 31, El Reno 7. Skip that out. What a win. What a win for the Piedmont Wildcats. A 31 to 7 victory. And yes, they did not have their uh, quarterback, uh, their starting quarterback, Dorian Plumley. But uh, Ethan Roman knows. Had a good game. Yeah, he had a good game. He didn't even have a touchdown, but, you know, he's growing. And uh, fair play to them, but that's a big win for Piedmont, who I think proved that uh, this past season was not a fluke. So, uh, anyway, uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, uh, God bless. And, uh,